You're going to ruin our lives. Why are you ruining our lives? Why are you giving all of the money that we have, our entire life savings, to this person that I don't even know? That is what Jeff's wife said to Jeff when he told her and explained that he was going to take the $50,000, everything that they had in the bank, he was going to take it out and he was going to give it to this person named Titan who he had worked with. $50,000, which was what his parents had left him, both who had just passed away. You see, Jeff came to me and he said, Titan, my eyes are going, my hands are going, I can't work in the trade for much longer. My parents just passed away and I have $50,000. This is what they left me. It's all I have in this world. I used to own my own machine shop, but I lost it. And I see a talent in you I've never seen before. And if I invest it, I'm going to lose it. So I want to give it to you and I want to invest in you, Titan. You need to have your own machine shop. At that point, I was like, Jeff, I'm not going to take your money. Like, I'm not doing it. But I looked and I tried to get through all these different doors and every door had closed. I went back to Jeff and I said, Jeff, if you give me the $50,000, I will triple it within two years and I'll give it back to you. And he said, okay. And then he said his wife wants to talk to me and that she is not happy that he's spending that money and giving it to me, risking everything, risking their entire life savings. My wife, we go up and we meet Jeff and his wife and we sit down and we have dinner and she looks straight at me and she says, Titan, this is all the money, our entire lives. This is all that we have. And Jeff's going to give it to you. I want you to understand. We have no other options. We have no retirement. We have nothing. I looked right at her. I told her, I understand. I looked at Jeff and I said, I understand. But we will be successful. This will be an amazing company. We'll serve the industry. We'll do amazing things. We'll make amazing parts. And I know that this is going to work. I walk outside and we're walking back to the car and my wife, when she got me away from Jeff and Elena, she looked straight into my eyes and she said, this is serious. I said, I know. She looks me right in my eyes and says, can you do this? And I look right at her and I say, absolutely. And she's like, this is a huge deal. I said, absolutely. I can do this. And Jeff went ahead and gave me the $50,000, which I would go and I would spend immediately. Then he went and refinanced this house and took out another $75,000 and gave it to me. Machine shops are expensive. Machines are expensive. We didn't have a building, we didn't have machines, we didn't have any tooling, we didn't have vices, we didn't have anything. And we had to start up from the ground floor all the way up. But what I did have was talent. And not only a talent in machining, but a talent to go get work. And I started looking up every single company in the area. I started selling myself, selling the vision, selling everything that we were about. And we started on our way. Our tool reps went and told everybody they knew. And more customers called and called and called. Now I'm telling you all of this because although you know the story, not everybody knows how the story ended and last weekend was an amazing weekend for myself and my wife and my family because we got in our car and from our shop in flower mount texas we drove 20 minutes over to jeff's house yes jeff lives in texas and jeff has a beautiful house that he purchased from the money that he made from the investment in me I love the fact that his wife now is my family, that her family prays for us on a daily basis. I love the fact that she can stand there solid with a retirement and know that the decision that Jeff made was the most solid decision of his life because now they have a beautiful house in Texas. He gave me 125000 
I gave him back 625,000. And then one day I was talking to my wife and I was talking about how I had been homeless, how I had gone to prison, how I had no opportunities, how nobody would ever invest in me. All the doors had closed and now we're touching the world. We're doing all of these amazing things. So I went back to Jeff and I said, you know what? That 625 is not enough. On top of that, I'm gonna pay you $2,000 every single month until the day that you die. Because Jeff, I love you and I appreciate you and nobody would have done that. You see, I understand the platform that I am on. I understand that I have a lot of people looking at me, but it wasn't just me. There were people along the way that helped me get to where I am. And it's important to give back and to acknowledge those that helped you. And as you rise up, you need to constantly look around for opportunities to help others who are on a lower level, just like you used to be. This is the greatest trade in the world. Today, we have 150,000 students. We have millions of people that watch our YouTube videos, our Facebook videos, Instagram, and all of it. We're bringing incredible awareness. But all of this good would not have happened if Jeff hadn't taken that incredible chance on me. So today I want to say, Jeff, thank you, sir. I love you. I love your family. And I'll never forget what you did for my family. Boom.